Well guys, today is tax day here in the US, and for a lot of people, that means a little extra frugality in the weeks ahead. And what's cheaper than pasta? So Brendan is going to show us how to make basic, simple pasta, which you can enjoy fresh or save for later by freezing or drying. This week on Working Class Foodies. So for the pasta, we used um, a double O flour. It makes a really nice smooth pasta, but also makes it very elastic. It holds together really well. While double zero flour is recommended for pasta and pizza dough recipes, it can be a little hard to find and it is pricier than regular all-purpose flour. So you can substitute all-purpose flour in this recipe. Your pasta may be a little heavier in texture, but it will still taste delicious. You want to get a nice mound of the flour. We did two and a half cups of the flour, kind of make a little bit of a mountain. Make a little bit of a well in the center with your fingers and crack two large eggs into it. The well should be deep enough to hold the eggs and then about a tablespoon of olive oil. And you're gonna take a fork. You're just gonna whisk the eggs together until you start almost making like a scrambled egg. But while you're doing that, kind of make little circles to the outside of the rim so it starts incorporating the flour gently. Once the, the egg starts almost looking like a pancake batter, then you can add about a quarter cup of water and a pinch of salt. And then you're gonna keep mixing it with the fork. Once that comes together and really turns back into a pancake batter, take a bench scraper or your hands and start folding all the flour together. Once you start folding that and bring it all together, you'll start noticing that the consistency of the dough is starting to get very flaky. What you want to do is start kneading that with the ball of your hand. Just delicately push down, fold the dough in half towards you like a taco, and then fold and then push down with the heel of your hand again. And you're going to do that for about eight to ten minutes. If there's extra flour falling to the side, don't try to incorporate it unless the dough feels wet, because the dough will start absorbing everything that it needs. So if you start trying to pack all the flour in, it will actually start getting really like like really dry and crumbly, and they won't make a really good pasta. Again, if your pasta is also getting too wet, then you can always add more flour. So just keep an eye on it and make sure that the dough is really holding together and starting to get very nice and uh, solid and smooth. Once you're done kneading it, you just want to wrap it in plastic tightly. Let it rest at room temperature for about 15 minutes. When you open it, you'll notice that it's a lot smoother, a lot more elastic and durable, but also you're going to see like the color change in it. And it's really a it should be a really beautiful dough. What you're going to do then is take your dough, cut it into about three or four pieces, depending on what you want. This batch should, should easily feed five, six people. It makes a good amount. Take a damp towel or paper towel, just slightly damp, and cover the pieces you're not using so that they don't oxidize and dry out and get a skin on them. The dough that you do have, you want to push down and put through a hand crank. If you don't have a hand crank at home or a pasta machine or something attaches to like a KitchenAid or something like that, you can use a wine bottle or a rolling pin. It's going to take a little bit more work, but it will, it will definitely get the job done. Before you, you start rolling your pasta out, make sure both sides are covered with flour and then you can put it through the hand crank. But I like to start off on one and then skip every other one until I get to seven. So just go one twice, then three, then number five. And seven. Some people like to go more, but I tend to find that this makes a really nice soft pasta. Works out nicely. Once you have them rolled out, cut them to the length that you want. Add a good amount of flour on one side. Fold it in half. Hit it with some more flour again. Fold that in half again. Once you have these nice rolls here, you can just take your knife and cut the sizes that you want. So you can make your nice thick popperdell, or you can do some fettuccine, or you can really cut it down to make some really nice thin spaghetti. Once your pasta is cut up, you can take it apart and just let it, like pick it up and let it just drop freely down. 
and take some cornmeal, some polenta, a rough cut polenta, and toss it with the pasta, and that will keep it really fresh from drying out. So if you're gonna use it within a couple hours, that's the best way to do it. If you wanna dry it out, you can leave them out flat or hang them. Some people use coat hangers, or you can use one of those laundry kind of folding things for the, you know, whatever, the laundry racks. Anything that will be able to hold it and let it dry out. You can just kind of bundle them up like that loosely, throw them in the freezer, and then you've got your little portions ready to go for whenever you want to use them. You can take them right out of the freezer and throw them right into the water. So when you are ready to cook your pasta, make sure that your water is up to a boil and well seasoned with salt. While that's going, we're going to heat up this pan of our marinara in there. You can then take your pasta, drop it in the water. No olive oil in the water. Olive oil will stop the sauce from being able to grip onto the pasta. Give the pasta a stir and make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. Within a minute or two, you'll notice that the pasta will rise right to the top and it's ready to go. So it's a lot faster than using a dry pasta, which will take probably closer to eight minutes. And you'll also notice that it's a lot more delicate and a lot more flavorful. Once you pull that out, you can take the pasta, throw it into a pan with some of the sauce that you want or brown butter. Always add in a little bit of the pasta water that you cooked with. The starch from the pasta is going into the water. It'll go into the sauce, and it'll just help everything come together and combine. Now, if you want to put olive oil in now for some flavor, a little extra virgin, that would be nice to finish. Hit it with some cheese, season it, and it's good to go. Like Brendan said, this pasta recipe yields about six good-sized servings for a total cost between about $1.30 and 260 dollars depending on what kind of flour you use. That's between $0.22 and $0.43 cents a serving. With a basic marinara or brown butter sauce, your final dish should still come in between $1 and $2 per person. Speaking of pasta sauce, we'd love to know how you dish up your pasta. So share your favorite pasta sauce recipe with us in the comments below or as a video response. And we'll see you next week on Working Pasta. Check out some of our other episodes to find recipes that would go great with this dish by clicking any of these boxes around my face.